Good morning, morning SHS, SHS, and welcome back. back. I'm Caden McCoy. I'm Ella True. And I'm Ella Hopkins. And will everyone please rise for a moment of silence. And now Caden will lead us in the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one invisible. As we all know, it is now February, and February celebrates Black History Month. We will try to highlight an influential person a few times a week to celebrate Black History contributions. But for today, we will be celebrating Groundhog Day, a popular North American tradition observed in the U.S. and Canada on February 2nd. It derives from Pennsylvania Dutch superstition that if a groundhog emerging from its burrow on this day sees its shadow due to clear weather, it will retreat to its den and winter will persist for six more weeks. If it does not see its shadow because of cloudiness, spring will arrive early. While the tradition remains popular, studies have found no consistent correlation between a groundhog seeing its shadow and the subsequent arrival time of spring-like weather. The Groundhog Day ceremony held at Punxsutawney in western Pennsylvania, centering on a semi-mythical groundhog named Punxsutawney Phil, has become the most frequently attended ceremony. Weather. The weather for this Groundhog Day will be cold, but thankfully it will be warming up a little bit. Weather will improve as the week progresses before another chance at much needed showers early next week. Don't forget, Miss Roach is taking order for this current year's yearbooks and past yearbooks. Um, and also, second semester attendance recovery has started. As usual, you can complete your makeup in the morning in room 40 from 7.15 to 7.55 Monday through Friday and from 3.45 to 4.20 Monday through Thursday afternoon. If you have any questions, please speak with Miss Galvan or Miss Ash. Yes, and prom is coming up. The dress code has been released. It is on the Cincinnati ISD website as well as it is posted by the cafeteria if you haven't seen it. And congratulations to the boys and girls basketball teams for beating Calhoun. So congratulations, congratulations guys. And hopefully y'all do just as well against Ingleside on Friday in Ingleside. And the varsity softball host Cal Allen and Fredericksburg at home on Saturday at 10 a.m., 11.30 a.m., and 1 p.m. And the JV plays at Cal, Cal Allen at 1 p.m. Varsity baseball's first scrimmage is Saturday, February 4th. Combined with freshmen and JV playing from 3.30 to 5.30 with varsity playing from 6.30 to 8.30. And we caught up with some of the freshman baseball players to see how they feel about this upcoming season. So let's get to that. I'm right. special correspondent Sean Hughes, and I'm here with the freshman baseball team, and I'm here with... Bill Flores. Trent Fagan. <laughs> Ace Fuentes. Christian Jardo. Uh, Y'all have a... A uh, scrimmage coming up this uh, Saturday or this coming up weekend. How do y'all feel about that? We're really excited because it's going to be our first like live experience as high school players because like I mean most of us have either just been in Little League or Select uh, and so it's just really exciting because this is going to be our first organized you know high school like baseball thing you know and um, we've all dreamed of it since we were little so here we are. Probably. Yeah, it, uh, it's a big jump coming from select baseball all the way to high school. Uh, you get used to seeing fast pitching, but more than likely, since we're going to be freshmen, it's it'll, probably, it'll probably be medium speed, you know. Like I said, it was a, it's, it's a big jump, and um, we just got to see how we're going to do against Pleasanton. It's, uh, it's going to be a mixed up with uh, some of the freshmen and some of the JV players going against uh, the whole JV for Pleasanton. So we just got to see how we're going to do. We're just hoping to get a little bit of play time. Uh, it's like a big jump. And, you know, we're trying to, like, all compete. Get us, like, on varsity one day. And we just got to, like, we just got to ball out Saturday. Yeah, just overall, we just got to play good, look good, and just hope to do whatever. Do hope the coaches look, yeah. look at us. And overall, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you all for coming out here and letting me interview you all. Good luck on y'all's coming up scrimmage and go Pirates. Go Pirates. And don't forget, if you want to be a cheerleader or a mascot, please attend one of the meetings on February 9th or February 23rd. Yep. Today's trivia. In sticking with the Pennsylvania theme from Groundhog Day, how many pounds of pretzels on average does a Pennsylvanian consume in a year? I 
have no idea. I will say that this is soft pretzels. Mm -hmm. Not like pretzels. Sonic. Mm. Well, the answer is 20 pounds of pretzels a year. And that is compared to the average American only consumes two pounds of pretzels a year. So the Pennsylvanians sure do love their pretzels as well as Blake Hater. So as always, <laughs> we'll end things off with the thought of the day. Today's thought of the day comes from Michael Jordan. Who is that? Two words, basketball, go. He wow. says, I have failed over and over in my life, and that is why I succeed. And with that, we hope you have a wonderful Groundhog Day. We hope to see you all back tomorrow, and of course, go Pirates. Go Pirates! Go Pirates!